So this is the problem with factory Ford Ranger intercoolers. So if your intercooler fails on your Ford Ranger, one of the first things that's going to happen is you're going to get a malfunction light come up and probably an engine light as well. And you'll also notice that when you drive it, you're going to have a very loud spooling sound. You'll also notice that you have restricted power. so your range is going to be driving really really slow just as this one is doing so i've connected foreskin and run a diagnostic test and straight away it's coming up with a p bd error and it's saying mass or volume airflow a circuit range performance airflow too high so straight away that's telling me we've got a issue here with the airflow um, so it's going to be one of three things it's either going to be one of the intercooler hoses or it's going to be the actual intercooler itself. I'm pretty confident it's the intercooler itself because I can hear it. Um, and this is a problem that I've had before. So let me show you now where the actual problem is. So we're going to start by removing these three tabs. You've got one here, one here, and one there. And they, um, they pop up quite easily. All you do is just uh, basically just lever them up like that. Once you get them up, it's just a matter of pulling them out and they just pull straight out. So once you have those three tabs out, you just lift it up and that is your intercooler there. So next you want to remove the front grill. I've got an aftermarket grill on my Ranger, so I'm pretty sure this is how the factory one comes off as well. You've got two tabs here, same sort of uh, method to get these off. And then down here, uh, you're going to have two screws on either side. So you've got one down there. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, you got one down there. And then another one down there. Once you got those screws out, this front grill should just slide on out. So now with everything out of the way, I can clearly show you where my intercooler has failed. So as you can see, it's all moist around here with oil. But if we look down the side there, which the camera probably won't show, um, we can see the intercooler there has split down there. So I'll take a better look at that once I pull that intercooler out. So your next step is going to be to remove the intercooler ducting, which is this here, uh, which is going to be an 8mm there, and you've got another 8mm down there. So that's for both sides too. So with all that ducting out of the way, you now have full view of the intercooler. So your next step is going to be to loosen off these hose clamps from the top which are right there so you can do that just with either an 8 mil or with a flathead screwdriver which I'm using now so you've got that one clamp there and you've got the other one down there right there so now all that holds the intercooler in place are four 10 mil bolts one there one down there the other one there and the other one there which are all really easy to get to and you got this air temp sensor plug here as well, which you just pull that up and push down and it unplugs. So here we have the factory intercooler. As you can see, it's got a nice split down the side here from where it's let go. Um, I must say, uh, this is the second intercooler that I've replaced on this car. So with the original intercooler, I think that lasted about 200,000 kilometers. With this one here, I think it's lasted about 120,000 kilometers. Um, so this is just a cheap intercooler. I got it off eBay for, I think it was about $190. Um, and you know, it's lasted 120,000 kilometers, which is not too bad considering that the average driver drives about 25,000 kilometers a year. Uh, so that would equate to about, what, five years worth of use. So, I mean, if you're on a tight budget and 
you know that's all you can afford by all means use it um you know like i said i've got two years worth of driving out of it 120,000 kilometers i do a lot of k's per year so that's why it's only lasted two years but kilometer wise about 120,000 kilometers which you know it's acceptable for something cheap but i'll show you now the one that i've picked up to replace it with So I got the intercooler half off, it's almost ready to come out, uh, got one of the pipes off there, so just a bit of this side to go and it should be out. So I finally got the full uh, intercooler kit out, it comes along with uh, the silicon piping which is an added bonus. Time to go pay for this thing and get out of here. And this is the donor car that it come out of. Back at the car now with the intercooler and this is how much I paid for it. So I picked up this intercooler for $150 and it comes with both silicon intercooler piping as well, which is an added bonus. Um, the brand is, got it cheap, uh, it was off a car that was damaged. Um, it'll work fine for me, plus it's all aluminium so I don't have to worry about it cracking again. Just falling over dreams Now I'm just so far gone This isn't what it seems it's Taking me so damn long It's fading from belief I need to slow this down It's burning from beneath Just thought I'd do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the uh, standard intercooler versus the forefront industry one. From the front, they're about the same, but when you go to the side, clearly the uh, forefront one is probably about twice the thickness, if not a bit more. So, yeah, a bit of an upgrade as well. So intercooler is now fully bolted in. Got the um, intercooler hoses connected up. I had to use the uh, standard intercooler pipes on this one. The forefront industry ones just were a little bit too short. They did come off a 3.2, so I'm guessing the 3.2 sits a little bit forward. So that's why they didn't fit, but all in all, everything fitted up perfectly. And the final step is the air temp sensor, which is just a uh, eight mil bolt. A bit of silicon spray. So straight away the malfunction light has disappeared. Still got the engine light on, but I'm pretty sure that's going to disappear too. I could reset it with force scan, but you know, just couldn't really be bothered getting the computer out. 